So last night I ended up staying up a little bit too late. 2 p.m. That is freaking good. Pulling up to the car wash, I'm like, oh, I'm literally gonna go up. It's 2 p.m., y'all. Oh my god. I did not mean to sleep in this late. Like, I really, I really did not mean to sleep in this late. It's currently 2 p.m. Um. <laughs> So last night, I ended up staying up a little bit too late. Here's the real honest tea about, look at this little ponytail. <laughs> anyway, so no, here's the real honest tea about why I stayed up super, super late last night. So yesterday, I got off work a little bit early, ran by my mom's job to pick up some Poshmark labels. Then I came home, packaged up my Poshmark orders. Bro, now my battery wants to die, hold on. So right, boom, I came home, packed up my Poshmark orders, went, took those to the post office because I really needed to get them shipped out. I had like three different ones. Here's my Poshmark if you guys would like to shop my clothes, my closet, all of that good stuff. I pretty much have everything posted on there, but I may post more stuff here and there. But yeah, so I had to ship out some Poshmark orders, ran a couple other errands. Then I came home and I immediately started editing. Like I literally got in the bed and started editing and I edited almost all of my Sunday reset. So I got like everything done. And all I have to do is like add a couple little text words, do the intro, and that's pretty much it. Like I already added music to it, I already edited the entire video. Like the video is damn near done. I'm really proud of myself, but I stayed up super late doing that. Then after I was done editing, I realized that I had not eaten all day. Like literally all day. Because yesterday at work, it was so freaking slow. I chose patio and I literally didn't have a single table. Like I got one table, but he literally came from the bar to the patio. So I was kind of confused what he like needed. Moral of the story, I ended up being super dead at work. So I came home early. Then when I got off of work, I went and ran an errand. Then I came home. I literally just sat in my bed and edited. So I didn't eat and I didn't even think about eating. It was almost like I wasn't even hungry throughout the day, which is very concerning. After I got done editing, I realized I was like, oh my god, I literally I have not ate all day So I decided I was like, okay, you know, what? I'm gonna door dash myself some food I'm proud of myself for like getting this whole entire video practically edited Like I haven't done that in like one setting in a fat minute Usually it's been taking me to like days to edit a video So I was really proud that I like just sat down in one sitting and got the video practically done So it's like, okay, I'm gonna order myself some door dash I order myself DoorDash. The food doesn't get here until like like 1.35, 2 in the morning. I'm already tired at this point, but I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wait up. I'm gonna eat my food, brush my teeth, and go to bed. I'm waiting for my food, and I'm looking on the DoorDash app, and can anybody else relate to like DoorDash being like the shittiest fucking food delivery app? I don't know what it is, but I've had so many issues with them. I see that my dasher is at the wrong apartment complex, and this has only happened when I use DoorDash. Every time I use Uber Eats, they never really have an issue. But recently, ever since I've been using DoorDash just because I feel like DoorDash is a little bit cheaper. They continuously f up delivering my order. Like, I don't know what it is about it. I have my address in there. I even text them like, this is the name of my complex. It's not like, this is the name of my complex. Yesterday, that's exactly what happened. I saw that he was at the other apartment complex. I'm texting him. I'm literally blowing up my dasher and I'm like, dude, you're at the wrong apartment complex. It's blah, 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 blah. Like, hello, I'm trying to call him, not answering. So then I'm like, fuck, like, okay. He's been sitting at this other apartment complex for quite a while sometimes. So then I go ahead and I contact help and I'm like, look, he's at the wrong apartment complex. I can't get a hold of him. Can you get a hold of him? They're like, he's in the area. Just wait. Just wait. He's going to deliver your food. Just wait. I'm like, girl, no, he's not. He's not responding to me. He's been sitting at that same address for minutes now. Like, he's not moving. He's going to try to figure out a way to deliver it to that apartment complex. Ugh. I'm getting frustrated because I'm like, dude, no, he's at the wrong apartment complex. Just help me get in contact with this man i just want my food i just want my food i was hangry like i was so irritated then i get a text a random text after all these texts that i've sent my dasher and he says i gave it to riley for the both of y'all who the f is riley i don't know a riley i like text him i who is riley who did you give my food to i don't know a riley expecting them to maybe like text me back and be like oh shit no order complete i get the notification order has been complete i'm like <laughs> All right, I knew how this was gonna go because this has already happened to me. Then I go back to the help center on DoorDash and I'm like, bruh, like y'all really just pissed me off because I asked you for help and I knew it was gonna happen and now I don't have my food. Now you're gonna either give me credit or a refund when I don't 
want my money back. I wanted my food. So I was really, really irritated. Because we're going to turn around waking up late into a productive day because I still have a lot of shit to do. And I still, like, I still got to get my shit done today. I can't just, like, not, like, sleep in bed all day. I have to get stuff done today. Nasty day into a productive day. I'll pop up my to-do list right here on the screen. But this is everything that I need to accomplish today. I don't know if I'll do it in this order. I'll probably do it out of order because sometimes that's just how my brain works. But I am going to get all of the shit done today. So help me gosh, I'm going to get all of this done today. <laughs> made it in the car it is now 255 I have two things on my to-do list that are kind of like time crunch things which are the post office as well as the bank because those close earlier than everything else so I'm gonna go do those two things first and then I'm gonna go do the car wash but I do need to try to run to like like an auto zone or something because the only thing that I have to clean inside of my car is this multi-purpose cleaner but I don't even think I have like rags or anything so I need to try to get like I kind of just want to get the cloths and stuff that already come like with the cleaner already in them but I need to go do that because I don't have anything to clean my inside of my car inside of my car is so dirty you guys I have not cleaned my car and I can't even tell you how long because I had my car and then I was planning to clean it then it broke again so then I had to take it back to my parents and then that was just like a cycle that kept happening so I was like in my mom's car so I just haven't really had my car consistently to clean it but I am going to clean it today like it it's been too too long since i've cleaned my car but alani actually sent me their new flavor with paris hilton i believe the pink slush so i'm really excited i want to try her out today i haven't tried it yet dude new car coming soon because i'm so tired of this beater car like bruh she looks great i promise you she, i know she does she's beautiful but there's so many things wrong with this car there's so many things wrong with this car let me try her out live reaction Ooh, that is freaking good. Yeah, yeah, babe. I knew Paris was gonna hit on this one because, oh my god, this is probably my new favorite flavor. Just needed a little Lonnie to get me going, but we're going to go ahead and head off to the post office right now because that is the first thing that I need to do. Made it to the post office. I just have to run in and grab a package. Literally could not be a more perfect location because there is my bank right across the street. So perfect. That is gonna kill so much time. how big this fucking package is y'all i don't even think it's gonna fit in my car it literally doesn't even fit in my car okay that's just gonna have to work okay so that was a little bit weird i deposited some money that i had from work and then i also needed to make a withdrawal which i just wanted to deposit my money first i don't know that's just what i wanted to do but then when i tried to withdraw the amount that i needed to withdraw it said that i had already reached my limit or some shit like that i haven't even taken any money out so i don't know i'm gonna check my bank account real quick and then they are open so i think i'm just gonna go inside i really did want to go inside anyways i did not want to stand at that fucking atm outside let me lock my car right now because i'm in a, I'm in a low key sketch area and i just was like a little bit scared to just be standing there like with no way to defend myself at this fucking atm like i always get so scared going to the atm by myself now we have the moolah but why is it raining why is it literally raining i know y'all hear that it's raining y'all i wanted to clean my car so bad i think i might just still try to go to the car wash and at least just clean out the inside of my car oh, the inside of my car is so gross hopefully it stops let me just look up real quick you know if it's gonna stop here because i know it was supposed to rain today bro i i just like ah. i think it's just sprinkling for right now but it's not really supposed to like rain rain until like eight o'clock so i think i'm gonna just go ahead and try to run to like a car wash that has like free vacuum cleaners and stuff like that but so far we have bank and post office good to go so now I just need to do the car wash and get my pedicure and then we can go back home and do everything else that we need to do.
Just got my toesies done. I went to a little nail salon in like Uptown. It's called Uptown Nail Bar. Nail salon. Hold on. Let me let me clarify. Yeah, it's called Uptown Nail Spa. I decided to get my pedicure done before I went to the car wash because it was raining. I didn't want to be standing outside when it was raining. So now I'm going to try to attempt to go at least clean the inside of my car since it is raining. I'm not going to waste my money on getting a car wash because what's the point? such real shit right now i just pulled up to the car wash drinking any energy drink on an empty stomach is not i repeat it is not the move bro i literally am about to throw up i had to go to sonic to get me a little snack or something because i was like i feel so disgusting right now mm. literally as soon as i'm pulling up to the car wash i'm like bro oh, i'm literally gonna throw up It is 7 o'clock and the car wash closes at 8 so I finished perfect timing. I finished everything. I cleaned my car. I feel so much better. It smells really good in here. One last thing to do. I needed to cut off my old car tree so we can replace her with a new one. One last one of this. What scent is this? It doesn't even say what scent this is. I don't know but they look like little pink sunsets. It smells really freaking good. Now we have officially cleaned my car. I feel like you cannot clean your car without putting a fresh Scentsy in it. But now I'm about to head home because I'm getting rained on and I'm ready to just go beat inside the house. I just got home but now I have to do all of this laundry. I have to vacuum and clean up the litter box. So I'm about to wipe that all out right now so then that way I can just shower and relax for the rest of the night because I am so ready to just lay in bed. making some pasta i just used protein noodles and then i made it like how i usually make it you've probably seen my pasta recipe on my channel at some point it's basically reagan 77 pasta recipe but just minus a few things that i just didn't have but i am trying protein noodles out for the first time i've never had protein noodles before so let's see if i notice a difference no, I don't really notice a difference. It just tastes like noodles. She's in here hanging out with us. Um, Mama just is walking across. I went ahead and made myself some pasta. I really didn't want to cook for myself tonight. Like, sometimes I'm just so lazy. Especially, like, you know, when I do a lot in the day, then I'm to come home and, like, cook still. Like, I just, I'm looking for easy meals. So, pasta was, like, a really easy meal for me. Like, I'm so disappointed in myself. Like, yesterday, I went practically all day. Didn't eat a single thing until early this morning. Like, I kid you not, like, 2 in the morning. Y'all heard the whole story this morning, so I don't even need to get back into it. But then I ended up reordering on uber eats and i ordered taco bell no 
I ordered Jack in the Box. So I had to wait for that to get here. I ate that, so I ended up not going to bed until like four, but that was my first time eating was like at like three in the morning. And then I damn near almost did the same thing today, which like I'm just so disappointed in myself because it's like, girl, like how do you keep going a full day without even thinking to eat? Like you're prioritizing so many other things, but your health and like, babe, your health as well. If you can't do anything without being healthy, you can't get all your errands done without having fuel in your body to do those things. So that is something that I just really need to work on. I had put that on my vision board this year, you know, to like really make sure I'm eating, make sure I'm eating healthy foods, healthier options if I can, not just eating, you know, quick junk food all the time. I just need to care more about eating. And I feel like I just, I don't care about it enough. And so that's like my issue, but I can definitely tell that I'm losing weight again because I keep fucking forgetting to eat. And like, that's not okay. Like you have to prioritize eating in whichever way it can. If you want to do small meals throughout the day, great. Drink a protein shake, do whatever you can, but still make sure you're fueling your body in some form of way and not going the entire day without eating. It is so, so bad for you. Look at them, y'all. I'm sorry, I just have to look at them. Oh, y'all love each other. Stop. Look at them. Archie, don't be put. Oh, y'all are fighting. Never mind. What's going on? But yeah, y'all, that is like, I've had a few little TED Talks in today's video. I think it's been my recent thing. It's just like, I don't know, just ranting to you guys. But I'm gonna eat my dinner and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and I might edit a little bit more of my Sunday reset vlog. But if I just don't feel up for it, girl, I'm gonna just go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully y'all were productive with me or this gave you that little urge to be productive tomorrow or whenever you're watching it or to turn around your day. Say you woke up late and you're watching this video and you're like still have a few hours in the day like i could really still get some stuff done you can you can turn around your day at any time of the day it could literally be six o'clock at night and you could still like deep clean your entire room or do a couple of things that you needed to do so don't just think that just because it's later in the day or you wake up at 2 p.m that you can't turn your day around and still be productive because i literally did everything that i needed to do today yeah i'm very proud of myself very happy with that but i'm gonna call it a night you guys so i will see you guys in my next one bye Thank you.